This video will show you how to create a video on YouTube and upload it to the Walk for Cure video sharing site. The first step in the process is to go to YouTube. So you'll type youtube.com into your address browser and you will come to your YouTube page. If you already have an account, you will sign in. You'll put your username and password in and you'll be taken to your YouTube page. If you have an account, you could skip to the next section, chapter marking in this video, and we'll show you exactly how to use your webcam to create a video and upload it. If you don't have an account, the first thing that you'll do is click here on Create Account. Now, YouTube is a Google product. So what you'll be doing is creating a Google account, a Google personal account. They're completely free. And in doing so, you will also get a gmail.com address. And you don't necessarily need to use the gmail.com address, but what it will do is allow you to log into YouTube. So you'll fill out this information. I already have an account, so we'll just do a test account that you can use here. For instance, John Smith, and we will do a username of John Smith Walk for Cure at gmail.com. We're going to create a password, so we'll type that in here. And then it asks you to submit your birthday to make sure that you're old enough to use the site. There is an age restriction, so we will just put a general birthday in here and then we'll tell them our gender. You don't have to put mobile phone, another email address, but you do have to fill in this CAPTCHA information to prove that you're not a robot just signing up for random Google accounts. I agree to the terms and then Google may use my information. You could click off on that, but you must click on agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy. You can read those to find out what they are. Now you'll see once that's done, you have a profile and it's telling you to create your profile. You can add a profile photo here, or if you'd like, you could just skip this step. We'll hit next step. And then it's telling you, welcome John, that's the information we just put in, John Smith Walk for Cure. And then you could click on this button, which says back to YouTube. So it takes you immediately back to YouTube in the account that you created. And you'll see this little green message here, you are now registered with YouTube. And instead of having a create account or log in, you have your name and a little bit of inf information up here. And now you can go and create your own movies to upload to the Walk for Cure site. Now the next step in the process of recording your own movie to upload is to hit this button right here, the upload button. And you will be given several choices once you upload. And this gives you a little message that says upload your first video. And it says you must create a channel in order to upload a video. So we're going to create a very quick channel. And a channel is basically where you're going to house all of the videos that you upload. You may only upload one, you may upload many later on. Either way, you have to create a channel. So you're going to just click this button here. Everything should be set for you to do that. You can check these off and click OK, I'm ready to upload. And this creates a channel for you, the John Smith channel in my case. And you have three ways to upload. You can upload a file or a movie that's already on your computer. You can upload multiple files if you want to upload multiple movies that you have already done. But in our case, we're going to record directly from our webcam. So you will click this button here and it'll open up a box and it'll start your webcam if you have a webcam on your computer. It'll tell you that it's looking for camera activity and it is ready to record. And then you'll see my picture here. It might be a little bit dark. Uh, you might also have a little window that pops up here and asks you to approve certain settings. If that's the case, you should click Allow and Remember Me and then click OK. Once you're ready to record, you can just click this little button here, Ready to Record, and it will connect and start recording that easy. When you're done recording, you will hit the red square button to stop. It'll prepare the preview of the video you just recorded. And you will see a few options here. For example, you can preview the video in which it will show you your video. And if you like the way the video was done, you could then hit publish and it'll publish it to your YouTube page. 
or you can record over it if you made a few mistakes and would like to re-record. In this case, we'll just click publish. Now it's publishing to our YouTube page. And you'll see a lot of different settings. It's quite, kind of a busy page, but we'll walk through this step by step, starting on the left side of the page. You'll notice it gives a general title, John Smith's webcam video from March 22nd, 2012. So what you'll do is you can change this title. We recommend using your name and a little bit of information about why you're walking. So we could put that in and then you can delete any description for the video. It's not really necessary. If you like, you could put something in, some information about why you are walking. That's the whole idea of the Walk for Cure site. So maybe a little bit of information about why you walk. And you could include tags for your video. We would suggest using the scleroderma tag and also the Walk for Cure tag. And then under category, you'll hit nonprofits and activism. The video thumbnail may take some time to process. You don't necessarily have to worry about that. You want to make sure that the privacy is set to public because this is going to be shared on a public website. Down under license, you can leave it standard. Comments, you can allow comments automatically. Comment voting, no changes necessary. Video responses, you can click yes, allow video responses to be added after I approve them. The rest of these are simple ratings you can leave, embedding you can leave, syndication you can leave. So those settings you don't have to change. Up top, if you choose, you can select the date and map. If you like, you can click on the date that this was recorded. So we will just put March 22nd, 2012. You can also just click the Today button and it'll set that for you automatically. And then you could type in a location if you like. And for instance, I'll put in Nashville, Tennessee, which is where I am right now. We'll hit search and it records a location right there on a map. 3D video options is fine and we will click save changes. Once that's done, you will sh see your video in a little preview window right here and then you could play that video and it'll play back for you. I'm going to mute it so that we don't hear the video speaking over this audio recording. So you'll see your video if you like the way it turned out, great. If not, you could always go back and re-record. Now, to upload the video, you will view this video on a video page and you will fill out the form on the bottom of the Walk for Cure add a video page with very specific information. And we'll talk about that next. So make sure you click Save Changes to save any changes that you may have made and then click on View on Video Page. And that will take you to the page specifically for your video. I'm going to click on pause so it doesn't play over the audio here, but this is the unique page just for the video that you have created. And what you will do is highlight this URL. This is the address for this specific video and it will come in the form youtube.com forward slash watch question mark V equals and then this code, which is about eight or 10 letters. This is the unique code for this video. So you will highlight and copy this video. You've copied this URL address for your particular YouTube video. You will head back to the submit a video page on the website where the instruction video was, and you'll input that information into the form at the bottom of the video. So here under first name, we'll put John, last name Smith, email, we'll enter in our email. If there's any particular chapter affiliation that you walk for or any scleroderma chapter that you're affiliated with, you can click this drop down box and you could mention that affiliation there. Also take a moment to mention why you walk. And you could put that uh, short sentence in that box and then you will paste the YouTube link that you copied over from YouTube right into that box. Again, it tells you the format that it should be in. And then if you haven't created a YouTube video, if you have a video just on your computer or if you have a video that you shot, say, with a handheld camera, you can click here 
under Choose File and actually upload that file directly. We take all video file formats and we could upload that video to our YouTube account for you. So if you don't have a YouTube account or don't want to create a YouTube account, but you have a video from say your iPhone or your Android phone or just a regular old handheld digital camera that you're putting into your computer, you can click Choose File here, browse through your computer, find that video file, and then add it, and then click Submit. And when it is done, you will be taken back to the original page where you came from. You will have a thank you message for submitting your video, and we will review the video, and within 24 hours, we will post that video onto the Walk for Cure website. Thank you again for supporting Scleroderma Foundation Walk for Cure video sharing site. If you have any questions or if you're having trouble recording or uploading your own video or signing up for a YouTube account, email us at admin at walkforcure.org. Make sure you include your phone number so we can call you and walk you through the video installation.